So what I've what so what I've noticed this is a, actually a <clears throat> this is actually a great break. This is a break away from really uh, it's it's like it's like me jumping into a jumping into a, a submarine where reality is left above water and me and the subconscious are locked in the submarine and and moving moving within the market that's what it seems like whenever whenever i get into the 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 intense intensity of trading it seems to place my subconscious at the forefront of my consciousness and allow it to run free where i leave the 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 logical side above water whereas it is essentially detached from the reality of the the, the market so what i've noticed about uh, the way that I trade differently between the demo and the actual uh, challenge is that when I look at a demo, I have time. I can look at it. And I, I wait for a particular situation to occur and I evaluate. I give myself time. I give myself time to analyze what the chart is doing. And then I weigh it. And I said, okay, so if I, if I do this, I'm waiting for a certain signal to occur, and if that signal occurs, then that's the right entry to take, if it behaves in a certain way. And so I wait for it, and I see it, and I take the challenge, and then I properly set the stop loss and also the take profit level, and then I wait for it. Well, I wait for the trade to occur, and if it moves in any direction, it's perfectly okay, because I've, I've assessed what my needs are, and I've 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 concluded the fact that whatever the result is encased in the it is bound within it is bound within the risk I am willing to take on that trade. But in the heat of the moment when I'm in the challenge, it is a completely different story. It is very similar to being in a race car. It is very similar to being in a race car and moving at 250 miles an hour and the eyes are bug-eyed and the the brain is like fully uh fully in a shock mode and and trying to take that mindset into trading is essentially a formula of one disaster waiting to happen it and it turns out that's what happens every time so it seems to be like a mindset has been turned on when I get into that situation. The psychology is totally detached. Like I'm, I'm, I'm in a very, very small, uh, confined area with my subconscious, where the subconscious is driving this Formula One vehicle through these turns and turns and switches and things like that at 250 miles an hour on a slick rainy day that is the difference between the demo trading where the sun is out the flowers are blooming and the bees are jumping from one to the other and it's it's so it, it seems to be <laughs> it's, it seems to be when the when so it seems to be like a demo is like a like a boot camp Although it is difficult, but it is boot camp, and the sun is out, it's shining, birds are chirping, and then when the reality of fully engaging with risk, fully engaging in risk, it is essentially, it's essentially being being uh, parachuted into to the to the backside of the front line. Essentially, that is the difference between the mindset that I have of of being in a live trading environment versus the demo trading environment where essentially the mind the mind is the mind is essentially connected fully engaged in the emotion of the trade 
the mind is fully engaged. The mind is fully, fully engaged in the emotion of the trade. Whereas on the demo, the emotion is fully disengaged from the emotion. And that is the distinction between allowing the logical side to, to take hold of the situations, to bring in the birds, bring in the sunshine, and, and, and dissipate the dark clouds above. That is, the, that's, that is the distinction between the demo and the actual reality of making the trade. And for me, uh, at least, psychology has about a 99% uh, impact on the trade that I'm making because I'm unable to filter that traumatic and emotional uh, control that a live account has whenever I'm making those trades. And that is why for the past two years with plus 200 plus trading challenges, it has been, it has been difficult to control these two factors. One of them is the size, the risk size. Okay, that's one of them, the risk size and the stop loss. Those are the two primary ingredients that have been a traumatic, but it also impacts how I trade and, and the size that I trade and I'm, I'm, and and the way that I hesitate in entering a trade because because at the top of that pyramid of control there is this executive side which is essentially married to emotion that that emotion becomes a becomes the driving force in anything that I do because it undercuts every action that I take but when I'm in the demo mode, essentially 100% of that situation is removed. And therefore, the, the primary, the primary uh, subject matter of, in particular, like stop losses, money management, setups, uh, and, and, and uh, the momentum, these subject matters can be, can be detached fully from emotion to fully vet it, fully realize those specific uh, confluences that make up the thesis that is the difference and once I once I once I cross over once I diffuse that emotional control that I am under that spell that 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 emotional spell if I can if I can uh, somehow uh, remove that emotional spell, it's called an emotional spell. It's witchcraft. And when that is removed, then I can freely take whatever I'm doing on a demo mindset and carry it over to the live trading. And that will make a dramatic shift in the way that I trade because I'm able to take that submarine that's underneath the surface of the water and then bring it above and then bring in the logical side to take control over the actions that I'm performing and allow the subconscious to sit back and watch the positive results that I get. That will be the, uh, that will be the essentially the distinguishing factor between between the 95% of the individuals who are slaves to emotion and the individuals who have successfully removed themselves from the slavery of emotion and allow the logical side to take control over any situation. I saw, I think it was in Chat, chat, chat with Traders, and they brought on this guy who is, uh, oh, actually it's... Uh, it's it's a it's a YouTube channel by Etienne Crete, and he interviewed this psychiatrist. And apparently, apparently it was there was a hostage situation, and and it was some sort of a military kind of a thing. And so they brought on this expert, this psychiatrist, and they were interacting. And 
the psychiatrist spoke with the spoke with the uh, criminal and the military person asked the psychiatrist so do we have everything under control and so th th then the the military guy says hey i have everything under control whatever happens i have everything under control that's what he said so whatever the result of the negotiations become the military individual has everything under control whatever happens whatever happens whatever happens everything is under control there is there's no way to deviate from the plan that has been already uh, in place a plan that is already in place there is no way of deviating from wherever that situation is and there is no other outcome but that psychiatrist is there to create a favorable situation to create the least amount of damage to that particular situation and in that scope of understanding it is essentially carving out that emotion that has been that has been festering in that situation to create and encase that situation into a known situation that is differentiating itself from a demo, uh, demonstration account to a live account and the distinction of essentially squeezing a essentially what it's doing is it's juicing so i take a lemon and i get a juicer and i put the lemon in the juicer and then the pulp comes out but the the juice comes out and so what it's doing is either the pulp is the emotion or the juice is the emotion and that juice is completely removed the situation leaving the pulp which is the the factual material things and removing the soft side of that particular transaction once that liquid has been removed which is the emotion then i'm about i'm free to trade knowing that every possible situation has been thought out and has been planned out and will take place whatever the situation is the logical side however is there to steer that particular situation in the right and positive profit-taking opportunity it is there to create an environment that all possible manner of possibility has been thought out and as in place but the idea is to allow the logical side the logical mind to steer the situation into the positive territory whereupon a profit can be achieved essentially trading is just like a juicer <laughs> 